Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the winged bean, which is a plant that I've been experimenting with growing. So the winged bean is a lot more popular in tropical areas, right? And it's uh, a lot more commonly grown in like equatorial regions of Asia and places such as that. And it produces edible pods and other things. And it also has a very nice aesthetic appeal. The way the seed pods look and the flowers and such things like that. And being that it is leguminous in nature, it can also form associations with rhizobia to fix nitrogen in the ground. So I figured I'd go ahead and give this plant a try in the garden. Now unfortunately I was never able to harvest any yield from this plant and I'll get into why that is a little later on in the video but what I really want to focus on in this video is the propagation of the seeds and starting those plants because there are some details some nuances that you have to know and familiarize yourself with in order to successfully start growing this plant so this plant produces beautiful brown spherical seeds and they need to be soaked in water before planting in order to increase the rate of germination of the seeds and decrease uh, the length of time it takes for that germination to occur. So I started soaking the seeds on March 10th, 2022 in just plain water. And after about 72 hours, some of the seeds started to swell they started to kind of enlarge. And so I handpicked the ones that kind of doubled in size and I stuck those in pots. I put them in cardboard pots, right, which are kind of biodegradable so that if they started to grow too fast, I could just kind of pot them up into a larger pot. And that way I wouldn't have to mess with the roots or disturb their growth in that way. Now, as for the rest of the seeds, which did not swell up within those 72 hours, I let those soak a few more days, actually a few more weeks uh, for some of them until they eventually started to germinate. And in and throughout that process, I made sure to change the water like once it started to look kind of cloudy or dirty or, so that they would have some fresh and clean water to soak in. And gradually, as more of these seeds began to swell, I put them in their respective pots and made sure to keep them watered. And, and then I put them under artificial lighting since it was still too cold for them to grow outside. And so by April 10th, I had finished planting those swelled seeds into those pots and any of the other ungerminated seeds at that point, I just put in the compost. Cause I figured after three or four weeks, by that point, the majority of them had already sprouted and I had plenty to work with. Now, by April 16th, uh, some of those seedlings had been in pots for a few weeks and were starting to outgrow them. So those ones I put in larger pots, right, which are like halved cardboard oatmeal containers. And so I filled those with some soil and some compost, and then I put the pots in there, and then I put in more compost and soil to help even it out. Uh, and then I just put those in plastic trays and kept them watered. By that point, it was getting warm enough outside where they could spend the daylight hours outside and that was what I did so they could get the sunshine that they needed and then I eventually planted these plants out in about mid-May they seemed to do okay at least for the first week or two I noticed after that a couple of them had gotten bitten down to the ground by probably either a rabbit or a vole so in the future I want to take that into account maybe put a little bit of caging around them or have them protected in some way so that they can uh, grow and not have that happen. Uh, and then from that point on, I got pretty busy with other things I was doing and I completely lost track of the plants. They were just in like a side garden bed and it kind of really grew up. The plants just disappeared and I tried to look for them eventually, but they just weren't there anymore. So 
I'm figuring eventually they just got it all eaten or so that is why I was not able to collect any seed pods or seeds this past season I am hopeful that maybe I will be able to try my hand at growing these plants again this year and now I confidently know how to start the seeds and propagate these plants now I just have to make it to the next step which is growing them and attaining a yield right of pods and seeds and that kind of thing so I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully I'll be able to make a future video about how I actually like harvest uh, some things off of it you know that would be really cool because they are really interesting and beautiful plant so hopefully that can happen yeah so thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in a future video take care